To maintain sterility of the inner chamber, routine cleaning before and after compounding batches is performed with the access window closed. Always remember that the antechamber of the isolator must be cleaned from the main chamber using the fixed glove assembly using additional gloves. Cleaning should be completed with a facility approved disinfectant and disposable lint free or low particulate release cleaning cloth. New Air has supplied all new PharmaGuard units with an isolator cleaning tool to help improve access to hard to reach areas. The following steps are recommended. However, your facility supervisor will ultimately determine the cleaning and disinfecting steps and agents required to properly clean the isolator. Always remember to wipe in a top-down, back-to-front motion, utilizing overlapping strokes to ensure no particulate matter is returned to a clean surface. For best results, fold the wiper into quarters using a different quarter for each stroke. Use a new portion of the wiper each stroke to ensure that contaminants retained on the cloth are not deposited on other surfaces in the isolator. Cleaning. All residues or soils from previous runs must be removed to prevent contamination of future runs. A detergent or cleaning agent must be chosen based on the type of residue remaining and the characteristics of the product. Rinsing. Use wipers or mops pre-treated with sterile deionized water or 70% IPA to remove the cleaning agent. Be sure the last wiper used does not retain any visible residue after wiping down surfaces. Disinfection. IPA will help disinfect surfaces. However, it is not effective against spores. Bleach, Parasitic acid or hydrogen peroxide may be used to treat surfaces against spores or to deactivate hazardous agents. Note that corrosive materials, such as bleach, must be neutralized and rinsed after application to prevent damage to the stainless steel surfaces. The isolator cleaning tool and sterile wipers may be used to facilitate the application of an approved disinfectant. Rinsing. Pre-wetted wipers, deionized water, or 70% IPA should be used to remove disinfecting agent residues from surfaces. It is important to rinse the surface after disinfection to prevent corrosion of the stainless steel surfaces. Validation. As some facilities dictate, you may need to validate each completed cleaning procedure. Samples taken with sterile swabbing may be required to ensure no cleaning or disinfecting agents are present on the isolator's interior surfaces.